What's going on YouTube? This is Marvel DC Bros and today we're coming at you with our Arrow Season 4 Episode 4 review. So like every other episode and with The Flash and Supergirl we're going over our top 5 moments from the episode. And uh, when we were watching this episode I noticed that Diggle's little helmet thing is only half shell. Has it been like that the whole season or was this just the first time that it happened? Yeah it's more of like a mask more than a helmet. I mean cause a helmet's like <clears throat> full head. He's just got Velcro straps on yeah. the back. Real classy CW. Um, I guess since they had a loss in budget from season three, they could only build <laughs> half of a helmet. Um, so, our, but that's beside the point. Our first moment from the episode is a new arrow layer, which I thought was pretty badass. I looked really slick and really nice, and looked like they put a lot of money into this uh, layer. And I really liked the little suitcase. I found it to be a little copy of Batman, but when don't they copy Batman? I know he's not the first superhero to have a like a case, but I mean, like the way it was set up with all of the people, I found that to be a copy. But I really liked it still. I mean, it, it is Bat Arrow, so why not you know copy some more? It was good. I I liked it. It looked cool. Yeah, I also liked the Arrow layer. I mean. It's definitely a step up from anything that they've had. I thought that, like, every, the suit set up, I mean, even though, yes, it was a copy of Batman, it was pretty cool. And the little, like, contour thing, how they don't have, like, the mannequins under it anymore, I thought that was really cool. I don't know how they got that before the Flash, because the Flash is better. But that's besides the point. I like the arrow layer. It gets a thumbs up for me. So our second moment from this episode was Quinn, Sarah, and Laurel. So... <laughs> Overall, I I don't like Quentin at all. He's like, <laughs> his emotions suck. And when he was about to shoot Sarah, that was, he was, I'm so sorry, baby girl. And he just like had the gun. He was just standing there. It was like, if you're going to do it, do it already. And then Laurel came up with like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And she's like, dad, what are you doing? And then he just like dropped the gun. And that was like a decent scene. I mean, like when him and Laurel were hugging it out. But... Like, overall, the interaction of them three, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, whenever Sarah started choking Laurel, and she was like, Arr! that was, like, one of my favorite parts of the episode. But, overall, I like the interaction, so it gets a thumbs up. Yeah, I really liked the episode as, uh, I mean, that scene, the Lance family reunion. I thought it had terrific acting from all three of them. Katie Laws, Katie, and... Uh, Paul Blackthorne, they did phenomenal. Quentin showed his emotions. I like Quentin. I think he's a, a good, you know, aspect of the show. I liked uh, Sarah, Sarah being crazy, and I like how Laurel was trying to help her, like, you know, showing them pictures of her, and, like, look, Sarah, and then she saw all of a sudden, like, she's like, Dad, she's remembering, and then she's like, Arr! <laughs> she's choking her. I mean, that really wasn't something to laugh about, but it was, I found it hysterical, and I'm, uh, I I like that scene. It got a thumbs up for me. So our third moment from the episode <laughs> was Felicity and Curtis's heart to heart. I love that scene. Felicity, so it got a thumbs up. Felicity was she cried last season, but I honestly like sure she ha I guess had a reason to cry, but like not really. Like I mean, it was all over Oliver or and all that stuff, and I just. I thought it was tacky, but this time she had she cried for Ray, and I I liked that she had a reason to cry. Like Ray was, believe it or not, like she loved Ray, whether she would admit it to herself or not. And then it, I really liked how they tied in Curtis having you know that heart to heart, and it just I just thought it was really well done. It helped give them another bonding piece, and it was a terrific scene. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, first two seasons, I loved Felicity season three. I hated her because she'd just cry over Oliver's name. But this is the Felicity that I like. She has a purpose. She's doing other things other than just being with Oliver. And so I'm starting to, like, slowly like her again. And her having the little heart-to-heart -heart with him, you know, she's had a lot of them, actually. And then, you know, her telling her relationship about Ray, you know, it's nice to know that they didn't just write that relationship off like many old listeners want them to. <clears throat> but it was a great scene, and I really like Felicity's interaction with him so far this season. So our fourth moment from the episode is Quentin and Oliver. 
I mean, that's the best scene of Arrow that's ever happened. Like, I, I'm trying to think of other moments because there's been other moments where I've been like, yeah, like, this is freaking comic book. Like, this is why, like, I love superheroes. But I can't think of anything because that scene just wipes the floor with everything. I mean, he was just sitting in his house. That was Batman-esque, but, you know, Batman would have been in his suit. But anyways, he was just sitting on his couch, and then he just starts freaking yelling at him. And they're, like, going back and forth. And I just, like, that was the best scene of Arrow, like, ever. It was so epic, and I just love it. Yeah, it got a thumbs up for me. I Terrific acting for once, Stephen came to play. Um, it was, I just really liked that. I love how Quentin was ripping it into him and then Oliver was throwing shade and it was just good. They were yelling at each other, kind of had like a little heart to heart. There was a lot of tension, perfect scene overall. And I thought they did a phenomenal job with it. So super thumbs up to me. And I agree. It was definitely hands down one of the best scenes of Arrow. So our fifth moment from the episode and another one of my all time favorite scenes from Arrow was that little green arrow and black canary uh, zip line to the battlefield. I thought that was just, it kind of like didn't blow me away because it was like, oh, it was such an amazing scene. It was so little, but like I did not see that. That came out of nowhere to me. Like those two working together is just like, I mean, my comic card can't take it. It was just too perfect. And then to find out later on that it was like pretty much a stripped scene from Justice League Unlimited, I mean, seeing the parallel to it was honestly wild. I, I'm in love. And uh, then just like that whole scene as a whole, not them just ziplining together, but the little battle scene, Thea was kicking ass, Diggle was kicking ass, Quentin was there. Black Canary and Green Arrow all were kicking ass, and it was just, it was incredible. I loved it. It was a terrific scene, and I, the, there was a new director of this episode. Her name was Lexi, and she did a phenomenal job. I wish she could come back for every episode, and I hope Wendy takes permanent vacation from the show, because I can't stand her writing anymore, and so I really, no offense, but I really hope that this girl comes back to direct a couple more episodes because it was terrific okay forget what i just said this is the best episode of or not the best episode the best scene of arrow that i've i i love laurel like she is at least my third favorite comic book character of dc or marvel and so seeing her finally get the like the recognition and the screen time that she deserves and even having that scene that's like basically like that's like my comic heart, you know? Like, that's the reason that I watch this show. And to see that happen, you know, like it has so many times in the comics, just makes me happy and just makes me, like, excited to see more of Lauren Oliver's relationship. I know they're not dating yet, but it just, it's still, like, nostalgic ish for me. And so I really liked that scene, and I just hope to see more of it. So overall, I thought this episode was pretty good. Uh, it gets an A minus. I mean, there were a lot of good scenes in it, but just some of the like par like minor parts from the episode just you know knock it down to an A minus, which is still a good grade for Arrow. So it was a good episode, though. I thought this episode was a hundred percent. It was honestly, it was perfect. I mean, Alyssa was. It was in the back. It was background noise and. It was actually tolerable. I could be. enjoy it, and like I actually kind of like, like I kind of liked them together. Like, sh shame on me, but never would ship them together because, ew. And I just, I just really liked that. And then, you know, all the fighting scenes, all the acting, all the drama it was perfect. I hands down the best episode of Arrow since what season two? Like, I mean, it was incredible. I enjoyed every moment of it so we'd like to thank you guys for watching acting seriously to one another and we like, we'd like to ask you guys to like this video comment what y'all thought of the episode and subscribe for more videos this has been marvel dc bros signing out